Once upon a time, there was a young man named Cain, who was very keen to learn Zen. He was always curious about the world and sought answers to life's big questions. One day, he journeyed across Japan to meet a famous Zen master. He arrived at the Zen temple where the master resided. With eager eyes and a hopeful heart, Cain approached the master and introduced himself. What is it you wish from me? The master asked. I heard you are a renowned Zen master. I wish to be your student and become the most accomplished Zen master in the land. How long must I study? Cain asked. The master smiled at Cain's enthusiasm. Ten years. The master answered. Cain thought that was too long, but his determination only grew stronger. What if I practice twice as hard? He asked. How soon will it take then? The master paused for a moment before answering. Maybe 20 years, replied the master. 20 years? said Cain with surprise. That's way too long. But what if I practice day and night with all my effort? How about then? He asked. The master shook his head and said, it will take 30 years. Cain was puzzled. I don't understand. The more I promise to work hard, the longer it seems to take. Why is that? He asked. The master began to explain. The answer is clear. The essence of mastering any endeavor lies in your willingness to dedicate time to it. You seem accustomed to quick success. But such is not the path of life or Zen. When your focus is solely on reaching the destination, you miss the beauty of the journey. Like the colorful flowers blooming by the roadside, the soothing sound of the flowing streams, the gentle whispers of the wind through the trees, and the breathtaking hues of the sunset painting the sky. Each moment of the journey holds its own beauty, if only we take the time to appreciate it. The art of patience is dying. We have become an immediate gratification culture, and we expect things to move quickly, efficiently, and in the way we want. When that doesn't happen, we tend to become increasingly frustrated and irritable, a sign of impatience. We've lost the art of just slowing down and enjoying the moment. People seem to be losing their ability to wait in other areas of life. For instance, do you ever find yourself talking too fast, eating too fast, driving too fast, or spending money too fast? The few moments it takes to wait for an elevator to come, for a traffic light to change, or for a computer to boot up, may seem like an eternity. First of all, in real life, Things do not always happen as fast as we wish. Accept the fact that time moves at the speed of time and not at the speed of your expectations. That is patience. Second, remember that you cannot always control your circumstances. The wise King Solomon once wrote, the fastest runner does not always win the race. The strongest army does not always win the battle. The wisest man does not always get the food he earns. The smartest man does not always get the wealth, and an educated person does not always get the praise he deserves. When the time comes, bad things happen to everyone. A person never knows what will happen to him next. Instead of losing your patience over circumstances that are beyond your control, try to identify things that you can control. The reality of life is that it does little good to worry over things that you cannot control. None of you can add any time to your life by worrying about it. So remember, develop patience, persistence, and a genuine appreciation for the journey as we pursue our goals in life. These qualities will not only help us navigate challenges and setbacks, but also allow us to enjoy the process and the beauty of every moment along the way. This is Dharma Stories. Thank you for watching.